You know that split second before the perfect shot, when your subject's in motion, your finger's half pressed on the shutter, and you just hope the camera keeps up? That's where the Sony A9 series built its reputation. No blackouts, no lag, just pure responsiveness. It wasn't about megapixels or fancy marketing, it was about never missing the moment. But even legends stumble. The A9 III was a wild leap forward. The world's first full-frame global shutter camera. Groundbreaking? Absolutely. Perfect? Not quite. It promised zero distortion and 120 frames per second burst, but for many, it also introduced compromises that felt hard to ignore. And now, all eyes are on its rumored successor, the Sony A94. Will it fix what the A93 couldn't? Will it finally give us that balance of speed, resolution, and reliability that pros have been craving? Let's try to decode that. Let's be real, the Sony A93 was bold, but it wasn't flawless. On paper, it looked like a superhero camera. In practice, it felt more like a prototype of the future. Exciting, but not fully mature. The biggest issue? Image quality. That new global shutter sensor forced a base ISO of 250, which instantly cut into its dynamic range, shooting in low light. You'd start noticing noise creeping in. Shadow recovery? Not as clean as what you'd get from cameras like the Nikon Z9 or Canon R3. Then there's resolution. At 24.6 megapixels, it worked for sports and news shooters. Sure, but for anyone who wanted to crop or print large, it felt like a limit. It was as if Sony sacrificed detail for speed, and that trade-off didn't sit right with everyone. Even the viewfinder experience took a hit. You got that silky 240 hertz refresh rate, but the resolution dropped so much it was hard to confirm focus in real time. Add in the slower CFX Press Type A cards, and the frustration built up. Because when you're paying $6,000, almost perfect isn't enough. To be fair, the Sony A93 wasn't a failure, it was a milestone. But like most first-generation tech, it showed that innovation always comes with consequences. That's where the Sony A94 comes in. Sony's supposed answer to all those complaints. And from what's floating around, this thing could be a seriously refined beast. First off, a new stacked CMOS sensor is rumored to be around 33 to 36 megapixels. That's a huge bump, and it might be the sweet spot between speed and flexibility. Enough detail to crop comfortably, but still fast enough to keep the A9's blackout-free magic. It's basically Sony saying, we heard you. More resolution, same speed. The burst rate might actually come down from 120 frames per second to somewhere around 60 to 90 frames per second. But here's the catch. It's supposedly sustained. Instead of short bursts that choke the buffer, imagine long, continuous sequences in RAW with full autofocus and exposure tracking the entire time. That's not a downgrade. That's usability over numbers. Then there's the rumored AI autofocus overhaul. Not just faces or animals, but we're talking about detecting insects, vehicles, even sports gear. Imagine a tennis camera that can identify the racket or the ball and hold focus mid-action. That's the kind of improvement you feel on assignment, not just see on spec sheets. And the video side? Rumor says 6K or 6.2K open gate recording. That's massive for hybrid shooters. Open gate means the full sensor is used, so you can reframe later. Cinematic wides, vertical reels, square social posts, all from one take, without losing resolution. For creators balancing stills and video, that's pure gold. In short, the Sony A94 sounds less like a show-off camera and more like a polished real-world performer. The kind pros actually trust when the pressure's on. But here's where things get spicy. Behind the scenes, Sony's sensor division, the real brains of the operation, has already announced something mind-blowing. A 105 megapixel global shutter sensor, codenamed IMX927. Now it's designed for industrial use, not your next mirrorless body. But it proves one thing. Sony's cracked a problem that's been haunting global shutters for years, balancing speed, resolution, and noise. 
This new sensor hits 100 frames per second at 105 megapixels with minimal distortion. It's like science fiction, except it's real. And while that exact chip won't land in the Sony A94, the tech behind it almost certainly will. The pixel structure, the noise control, the high-speed readout, all of that can trickle down into the next Alpha flagship. That means we could finally see a full-frame global shutter with clean ISO 100 performance and strong dynamic range. If that happens, it's game over for the old compromises. You'd have speed and quality in one body, something no camera has truly mastered yet. And let's not forget the competition. Canon's next iteration is around the corner, Nikon's cooking up the Nikon Z9 II, and Panasonic's courting hybrid shooters. Sony can't afford to just iterate anymore. The A94 has to be bold. It has to prove that Sony's still the king of speed and innovation. If we could hand Sony a checklist, here's what would be on it. Lower base ISO. Bring it back to 100. More dynamic range, cleaner shadows, better flexibility in post. High-res EVF at max refresh. No more pixel drop when switching to 240 Hz. Fast and clear, not one or the other. Switch to CF Express Type B. Those cards are faster, cheaper, and already industry standard. Bigger buffer. Let's shoot RAW for longer without waiting for the camera to breathe. Next-gen AI autofocus. Not just subject detection, subject understanding. Let it adapt intelligently to motion and behavior. Better ergonomics. A slightly deeper grip, smarter photo slash video switch, and improved button layout would make all the difference. If the Sony A94 nails even half of these, it'll be the camera every sports, wildlife, and event shooter dreams of. At the end of the day, the A94 isn't just about more megapixels or faster bursts. It's about trust. Can you trust your camera to keep up, to perform under pressure, and to deliver results without compromise? The Sony A93 showed us what's possible, but also what's fragile about innovation. If the A94 truly refines that formula, cleaner low ISO, better ergonomics, smarter AI, and that rumored 36 megapixel sensor, it could easily become the benchmark for professional speed shooters. And if Sony manages to bring some of that new 105 megapixel sensor magic into a full frame package, we might be looking at something historic. A camera that finally makes the global shutter not just a technical flex, but a practical standard. Because, let's be honest, we don't just want fast anymore. We want fast that feels effortless. We want power that doesn't punish image quality. We want a camera that feels alive in our hands, like it's part of the moment. So what do you expect to see in the Sony A94? Share with us in the comments. Please subscribe for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.